Walter Flanham. In this episode of Marina Queen, I go back to the boat, this time for a little getaway with my wife. We start preps for Frog's Leap's relocation to San Diego with some fuel and some stores. And I learn about the sea lions in San Francisco, and towards the end of the episode, I take it to another level. All the real cruisers put their provisions in the net. My name is Rick. Join me as I refit sailing vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. I just got to the boat. Apparently one of the lines of my fenders and maybe two of them broke. And I knew the lines were screwed up. I was planning on changing all those lines. I knew they were bad. I just thought maybe I'd make another month. That was a mistake. I used some old line and made up some new fender lines. One of the things I did was I got rid of these big metal hooks. The fenders would clip on to the, to the lifelines with these metal hooks. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd just rather it be lined. Having metal things that can fly around and hit you in the head when the boat's underway is just not something that sounds appealing to me. <laughs> so actually, from the time that I got to the boat till right now, that's what I've been working on. Thank God I had those line cutters. <laughs> Made the job so much better. Obligatory Bolin instructional segment. So here's how we do the Bolin, as I was taught, right? So what you do is I make a loop on over the top, right here like that, and uh, and then, well, what I was taught was I'm going to give myself some more room here, but what I was taught was you got the rabbit and he comes out of the hole and he runs around the tree like that he's running around the tree there and then he goes back down the hole see and then you just grab the two lines here and kind of cinch it up like that and that's not a lot of bitter end there so i'm gonna i think it'll it'll be fine but normally I would want a little more than that down there. Because this bowling's not going to be under a lot of stress. This bowling gets tighter, the more stress is applied to it. So I'm trying to apply some a stress to it in advance so that this thing gets locked in there because I don't have a lot of it. So, But it has a unique look to it. So if you see it like this, that's a that's the unique look of a bowling where, where the 
the working part comes out this way and, and there's like this wrap around it. That, that's a kind of a, people see that and they immediately recognize it as a ball one. Well, I've got some provisioning to do for this upcoming trip to San Diego, so why don't we just hit Pier 39 on the way? We're in mid-July and we've got no sea lions here at Pier 39. They travel south and they give birth and breed. And the first pups are born by May 25th and the breeding season is over by July 20th. The males and the juvenile females, well, they'll start moving north after the breeding season. Supposedly what I'm going to do is going to make this drinkable water. I'm not going to be drinking out of it. <laughs> but apparently uh, you can put an eighth of a cup per every 10 gallons, soak it in the tank for four hours, even if it's an aluminum tank. I'll put in the amount for one hour and then I'll pump the water out and then pump some fresh water in. So half a cup. Let's see what we got. Tell me when you think I got a half a cup. not made to go down those finger piers. Go down. Sometimes I feel just really excited, but sometimes my excitement is accentuated by just an overwhelming sense of accomplishment. Like if you're in sports and you go from second string to first string, or maybe you play an instrument and you were lost in the 12th chair of the trumpet section, and now you're like the first chair or something, right? You're like another level. I'm another level right now. So I provisioned, and you can see I've got I'm tropical. I've got some bananas. I'm ready for anything. I've got Advil. I got some water here. I got some M&M. Real cruisers put their provisions in the net. I'm a real cruiser now.
Well, thanks for watching this episode of Marina Queen. If you liked it, press the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more, smash that subscribe button. I'll see you next week on the boat. New episode every Sunday. I'm not as think as you confused I am.